I'm Melissa Nicavoli at the corner of Church and Wellesley, where the scene right now is much quieter than it was earlier this evening. Two Christian ministries came here to spread what they say was the word of God, leading to tense moments after members of this community say they were actually spreading homophobic messages. Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! Shame on you! Every person has rights! About 15 people from the Christ Forgiveness and Torch of Christ Ministries gathered with microphones and cameras to spread what they say is a message of love. Our only motive is that people would know that God loves them, that they would come to know that Jesus is a God of love. But many in the village say that wasn't the message they heard, claiming the group came here to bring tension to the community. It's 2019, like, come on, people. I'm all about respecting diversity. If you want to believe in God, whatever faith it is, Christian, Muslim, Jewish, whatever, that's okay. You don't need to force that on people. Emotions were high, leaving some in tears, crowds spilling out to the streets, when an officer driving by took notice, prompting about a dozen cops to respond. Well, it is right now because see all these people are out here? Okay, so you are literally right now. I'm not causing, literally causing, causing anything. Distress. No one told them to block the sidewalk. No, I'm not. One street preacher was arrested for causing a disturbance after officers say he did not comply with police. Okay, well, I'm being arrested. For what? what did I do? The difficulty becomes when that expression on loudspeaker and using screaming and insulting language results in um, people responding in a negative way. And unfortunately, at that point, as you can probably see, um, the safety of everybody can be put at risk. We believe that it's worth a persecution against us. We believe it's worth the arrest. All right. The truth is always going to be a very difficult, uh, complex subject. Yeah, this isn't the first time that this group has been out here. A similar incident occurred about a month ago, also leading to an arrest. Now, many I spoke with here tell me that they're disappointed that this happened during Pride Month, a time where it's supposed to be a celebration of inclusion. You guys ready? Yeah. We're going to pray. Would you like to join us in prayer? No? Okay. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, yes. we give you thanks and praise yes, for your goodness thank and your you. love and your mercy in the land of the living. We thank you, Lord God, that you sent your one and only son, Jesus Christ, to die for the entire world so that the world would be saved. That includes people of the LGBTQI community, Lord God. That includes every heterosexual, every person on this planet has an opportunity Amen. to find your love and your grace because you said for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever would believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, that your glory would shine upon this community. Lord God, and you would reach out to each broken heart to each person and let them know that there's hope for their lives, oh God. Let them know, God, that there's grace available, Lord God, just like with each one of us, oh Lord God. Father, Lord, we know that grace is a gift, oh Lord God, but in order to receive a gift, we need to receive it. We need to open our hearts to it, Lord God. So I pray, Lord God, that you would touch hearts, open their hearts to your love, to your grace, because, Lord God, your grace can transform your grace can heal any person, oh Lord God. It doesn't matter who we are, where we've been. You're a merciful and forgiving God, and your forgiveness is available to the asking. Lord, you died while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And we are all sinners, fallen short of the glory of God. And you said the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you, Lord, for Canada. Lord God, for freedoms, Lord God, that all people can have their freedoms expressed, their rights uh, upheld, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that Father, Lord God, in this country, Lord, everyone has dignity and everybody has respect. Whether they're LGBT or Christian, whether they're Muslim or Buddhist, Father, they're all entitled to express their beliefs 
beliefs and opinions, Lord God, and practice what they want, Lord God. And we thank you, Lord God, for the freedoms that we have in this country, Lord God. And we ask you, Lord God, that in these freedoms, people would choose what is your way, Lord God, your way of love, your way of hope, your way of forgiveness. This is our prayer over this community, that you would send your holy angels, even right now, Lord God, dispel and remove the kingdom of darkness, Lord God, from this area, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, convict of sin, righteousness, and judgment, oh God, and let your holy angels, oh Lord God, protect your people and bring them into your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord God, for your goodness, oh Lord God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I say that again. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as he is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and glory forever and ever. Amen. One more time. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For God is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Give God some praise. Hallelujah! Spirit in high places, we find every principality and power. We thank you for freedom in the spirit, Lord. We thank you for victory in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let's just move away from this. And, uh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good. God is really good. Well, we're here to offer free information about Jesus to all who would like free information. You don't want, you, you, you're telling me to get out. You don't want to talk to me, have your backs face towards me. Would you tolerate me as a Christian? I, I tolerate you as a Christian. Wonderful. I don't tolerate you spewing your stuff on top of us. No one is, you can walk on by, it's a public service. So that people can hear the message of Jesus. Would you, would you, you don't have to, you don't touch me. You don't have to touch me. Yeah, that's what I want. Do you tolerate, do you tolerate me as a Christian? I'm trying to have dinner. Okay, I'm trying to have, have dinner, dinner in my house. Do you tolerate me as a Christian? I don't even like, I don't even like the word tolerance. Do you tolerate me as a Christian? I accept you as a Christian. I am a Christian. Okay, and you tolerate. Wonderful, wonderful. Do you tolerate me as a Christian? As long as you tolerate me as a gay man. I tolerate you, that's why I'm living in Toronto. I don't want to kill you. What tolerance is a bad word? What about accepting? What, what do you? I accept you. Oh, you're you here. Do. You want to shake my hand? Here. What did I say? To touch no, you. I couldn't I, touch you. But why do you need a microphone? So that people can hear the good hear news you. of you Jesus can come Christ. And talk to me. Right, I can talk to you without and I'm talking to more than one person. No one's, no one's disturbing the peace. You so, are. You so, know what no, happened here? We live okay. here. This why is our being, community. Why are you being this is our neighbor. Right I'm, I'm not being hateful to you. So I, I, I asked a few people and we have one person. Not many people. You said you can tolerate me, so tolerate me. You'll accept you. Well, you won't tolerate me. I'm in corner with a microphone disturbing the peace. Okay, okay, so I'm not here disturbing the peace. I'm telling, I'm exercising my freedom. It's not an acceptable. Tolerance. Okay. Well, I'm here to. Okay. Good. Oh, so, so I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna tell you that I tolerate you, and I and I accept you. Okay. Do you have a problem with me? I have a problem with you standing on the corner with a microphone. Okay. So you have a problem with me. So go have your dinner. No one's screaming. You're screaming. Okay. So you're 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 in my. Okay. So God loves you. God cares for you. If you don't want to hear it, don't want to hear it. Turn, turn, turn. Right turn. in my house. Right in my house, bro. Right in my house every second. Check, check. All I can hear is you. I'm going to just back up for a bit because we have a lot of people that 
are hateful. Yeah, 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 Calm down, I wouldn't believe it. I don't hate yeah, you. No, you're not here peacefully. You're disturbing the peace. You're in my face. I've been living here for 20 years. You're in my face. You're in her face. Get down, sir. Are we welcome here? Are we welcome here? As Christians? Sorry? Are we welcome here? Check. You're welcome here. You're not welcome okay, here. So I'm just going to continue on with what I had to say. No, I said you're we not here. We have people that can't even say that they love me. They, no, 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 they can't no, no, even no, say no, that they tolerate no, me, and I didn't even say anything. Except God loves you. God cares for me. Please don't invade my personal space because you're becoming harassing and, and violent. You're becoming violent, and I didn't even do anything. No violence. No violence. So we're here to tell you that God loves you. Love is love. Love is love. Love is love and God is love. I need to get out. You don't accept me? You don't accept me? Do you, you don't accept me? Why would I have to get out of Toronto? I don't have to. This is a public sidewalk. I pay my taxes. Uh, you came to here, which is where we live, a marginalized community, and you came here to fuck with us! To fuck with us! Why are you fucking smiling? You're evil whores! Why are you fucking smiling? You're evil whores! Why are you fucking smiling? You're evil whores! Is it because I'm Christian? Okay, thank you. No, because she is. I'm Christian and I'm accepted just like you're accepted. Everyone's accepted. And that's what we preach as Christians, that everybody is accepted. So I'm here to tell you today that there's something hypocritical about what's going on today. You want acceptance, so accept. Everyone is entitled to respect and dignity. Everyone, the LGBT community, that should be publicized. The Christian community deserves respect as well. And we're here to tell you today that there is a God in heaven that made us in his image and in his likeness, and he's calling all people to himself. Because for God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only son. That whoever believes in him should not perish. Whoever believes in him. And that tells me that there is hope for every person in Toronto. You have to talk to your community. Okay, this is a community. So you guys are trying to show something right now. I just don't want you to take this. I'm happy to do that. 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 I'm happy to do Will your love accept Christian? Get used to it. We're Christian. Get used to it. We're here. God loves you. God loves you. Get used to it. God is gay. 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 This is God is gay. Equality and dignity and diversity. I said nothing wrong except God loves you. And I'm going to tell you today the gospel is for you. Every person in this community, the gospel is for you. Can you imagine us all the person dead and singing? I told them, I don't like seeing that. Yeah. That would be wrong and discrimination. Every person has sinned. Any, every heterosexual has sinned. Every homosexual has sinned. And sin is when we violate the laws of God and we go contrary to the things of faith. I'm That's what sin is. You're blocking my, my, my walk. You're blocking the sidewalk. I just That's spoke rich. to the police. Sin, sin is, is when we go against me. the laws of God. And when we go against the laws of God, we find ourselves intolerant bigots like the people around me. But claim saying love Are is love. Of, do now if love is love, will your love accept me? This is the question that I have for everybody. Will your love accept me? How deep is your love today? How deep is your love? If your love is true 
and you believe everyone is entitled to dignity, then my question for you today is, will it accept Christians? And this is the message that I want to ask, or rather the question that I have for you. My message is this. But God, you're actually blocking me from walking. You know, I'm not coming in your face blocking you from walking. I'm allowed to walk freely in Canada, Toronto. Please, now, now you're assaulting me. Please. I'm trying to walk. I'm trying to walk. Actually, I'm trying to if you walk. want to turn around and walk this the other way, walk. that's fine. So I'm demonstrating and proving to you that what, sorry? I'm demonstrating and proving to you that you don't know what love is. You're intolerant. There's a lot of bigots here right now. Please don't, don't touch me. I'm trying to walk. I'm trying to walk and I'm trying to communicate and exercise my freedom of speech. Now you're trying to trip me? That's assault. I didn't think you know, it was funny. You know, when people are mature and they actually really love somebody, then they wouldn't be doing what they're doing. They would allow people to walk There's nothing you are going to say to me that is going to change my mind right now. It is absolutely this is What this is doing is becoming, becoming assaulting. You're starting to cause a fight. You're becoming physically violent. That's not love. Please look at these signs. Love is love. This is not love. Love wins. I wish love would win right now. Anyway, I'm going to go back to my message. Sin is when we violate the words of God. When we go contrary to what God's word is. If you don't agree with something, a civil person that actually loves somebody would actually tolerate them because we live in Canada. Canada is a place of This is not the district where the laws of Canada don't apply. The laws of Canada apply to Church and Wellesley. The laws of Canada apply to Young and Dundas. The laws... Okay, s listen, sir. You're standing in front of me for some reason. You're becoming assaulting. And no, but I am welcoming Canada. A black man is welcoming Canada. A white man is welcoming Canada. An LGBT member is welcoming Canada. Christians are welcoming Canada. Muslims are welcoming Canada. This area is full of bigots, Christophobes, Biblophobes, people that don't love. They have no love. So I'm here to tell you today, when we stop loving other people, what ends up happening is that people stop loving. And that's why God sent His one and only Son, Jesus. He sent Jesus to show what Why okay now I you're talk talking yeah. you're Why touching are you me touching sir. him Why are you touching you're touching him? me you're touching me when when we actually go against the laws of god what happens is is that we end up falling into a place of devastation and destruction and god comes in. Sin is when we go contrary to the things of God. That's what sin is. And this is an example of sin. Intolerance. Hatred. Physical violence. These are the things that we speak against. Sorry, I can to get my sin. These are the things that we speak against in our society. We speak against violence. We speak against adultery. We speak against any form of sin that's contrary to the word of God. So when people talk about equality and dignity and respect, it should be given. You know, in, in a civil society, what happens is that when you don't agree with somebody, you don't assault them. You don't kill them. Now, if you're living in Saudi Arabia, if you were a homosexual, you would be put to death in Saudi Arabia. If you were living in Pakistan or Iran, you would be put to death. They would physically assault you like I'm being assaulted by these people here. I don't know who these people are. I don't know if they're gay. I don't know if they're heterosexual. I have no clue 
who they are. So I'm not going to label an entire community by hateful people. I don't know who you are. Now, if you claim to have a certain lifestyle, that's up to you. But I'm here to tell you today, I am not assaulting you. I am not showing violence towards you. I am not saying anything hateful towards you. Because this is on live stream. So all you need to do is check the facts. The facts are, look on live stream and you will see the truth. Love is love. And we ought to love. And God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. And it's for everybody. Every person here is worthy of, a, of hope. Every person here is worthy of a chance of forgiveness. Every person here is worthy of a reconciled relationship with God because God loves you. God cares for you. And he loves you so much. He loves you so much that he would send people to remind you of that. Deep inside of every person's heart is the reality. Is the reality that there is something wrong. That there is something wrong on the inside. It's sin. Whoever is chanting. Whoever is chanting. Everybody else. Everybody has sin. Everybody has sin. And this, this is the message that we need to know. There is no possibility of change unless you recognize that you have faults. There is no possibility of change unless you recognize that you have sin. Every person has sin. And every person has hope. And every person has an opportunity to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. For the wages of sin is death. Negativity is often birthed by people that have embraced negativity. People that don't want to repent of their sins become hateful. Love is not hate. I will say it again. Love is not hate. And every person in Canada, whether you're queer, whether you're gay, whether you're lesbian, you have a right to be who you want to be. But Christians also have a right to be who they want to be. is deserving of respect. Christians are worthy of respect. I want to tell you something. That God, God is calling you. If you don't want to repent and trust in Jesus, if you don't want the gospel, nobody can Nobody can force you. Nobody can force you to receive something that you don't want. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. This is, seems to be the only community where assault is legislated. Where assault and persecution. You have become the most persecuted.
Telling the truth, sir. You're not even telling the truth. At least speak the truth. You can see live stream on, on YouTube. What if I said this right? wrong? We 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 stood out here yeah. and began to talk about how much we love you and God loves you. It's all video. And yeah. all of you ganged up on us and began to try to push us off the street, yelling at us, holding signs in front of us. But we weren't we weren't there with oh, a you're microphone. Very nice you're yelling at yelling you were nice now on TV. Oh, you started holding me. Run. You and your friends called me a whore. You did not call you a whore. You and you pushed me. Find the tape. You are so intolerant and violent. You specifically told me when I asked you, and it's on video, so you can't manipulate it. Because it's going to go online. You specifically said, you guys asked, you guys asked. You're very nice now, right? The TV's on, you don't want to yell? I'll yell if I need to. You're the ones yelling at me. Four on one. Four on one. I'm telling the truth. You asked if we tolerate you. I said, I accept you. have the right to be heard. You have the right to preach. I have the right to preach, sir. You sir, you said you accepted right me with limited I have the right to preach. We've, we've dealt with this in court already. So, and, and we do this all the time. We've, we've spoken, yes. So what the, what, what's going on, sir? What's, what's, what's really happening, sir? Because I was physically assaulted. I'm asking you to arrest me. No, no, no. I'm telling you I was here. I'm pressing a charge. I was here. Well, actually, you don't get to determine that. I do. So Do I? No, when someone assaults me, Right. You have to, as a cop, be impartial I will take and arrest them. I will take so we're gonna we're gonna press you. charges right now. Okay, no, we're not. I will no, we're not. not. I will take a statement about that. You're gonna take a statement on pressing charges. I will take a statement. I'm pressing charges. Are you gonna, are you going to work with? Me? Listen, are you going to work? Not how, that's not so if somebody works. assaults me, I don't call the police and press charges. Yes, you call the police okay. and we take. So you're information. here. That's Please take. Okay. I can show you the people that assaulted. Okay. That's great. This lady right here. Okay. 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 Please. Uh, okay. Are you going to take my uh, statement? I will take your information, okay. but what I'd like you to do right now is turn the microphone off. That's what not you don't the main have. issue. Well, it is right now because see all these people are out here. So you are literally right now. I'm not literally pausing it. No one told them to block the sidewalk. No, I'm not. No, I'm not causing this. I'm exercising my freedom of speech in Canada. You didn't investigate the assaults. I can tell you one by one. They're all here. They've assaulted. Where did the lady go? The lady's right there. She assaulted me. Assault? No, 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 no. no, no. We're, we're going to have everybody hear this. And I have the right to be heard. I have the right to be heard. You have the right to be heard, but I don't want you to I'm telling you about five people assaulted me. Assaulted me for saying... It's over here. Five people assaulted me, officer. Listen, I told you I will take the information. Are you going to press charges? After I investigate and determine whether there's reasonable grounds to press a charge, then yes, I will. But right now, what I'm asking is... Is there any reasonable grounds to assault somebody? What I want you to do right now is to turn the microphone off. You do not have the right to broadcast and cause a disturbance. That no you don't one's have causing a right. disturbance. You are. Fact, you've been to court about this already. Well, you may be going again because if you don't okay. turn this if off, you want to you issue a stop, ticket for the bylaw. I'm not going to issue a ticket. I'm going to arrest you. On what grounds? For causing a disturbance. No one's causing a disturbance. You are. Because by this, exercising freedom by you, of speech, by you doing what you're doing right now, you're causing a disturbance to take place. Okay, so how about this? I'm going to turn this you're off, the not great. because I have to, but I'm going to do it for you. Thank you. But I'm still going to be here and exercise okay. my freedom. Now, I want to ask you something. Are you going to uh, arrest these people that assaulted me? What I told you was, because the I will take the, your information. The person actually just ran away. If you want to do that, I will take that information from okay, you. Okay, we're going to take it right now. So, I want you to walk over here with I'm me. I'm not going to we'll walk there. I'm going to do it right here. Okay. That's my right as a Canadian citizen. I don't take a statement in front of a whole bunch of other people. Yes, you can. I just no, took one today. That. Well, then, that, then you're not taking my assault seriously. I am taking your assault seriously. I don't want to do it in a private place. I want to do it right here so there's witnesses. No, I'm not doing that. 
Well, I'm not. I'm going to continue to preach. If, if, if I'm not under arrest, and I'm, I am going to exercise my uh, freedom of speech. You're not, because if you do, I'm going to arrest you. You can't arrest me for preaching Jesus Christ. You can't arrest me for. No one's using amplification. I oblige with you. So, no, no, no. They are causing the disturbance. They assaulted me. You're causing it to happen. I'm causing it to happen by exercising freedom of speech. So, so, so think of the logic. I'm causing. I'm causing a disturbance by exercising freedom of speech in Toronto, Canada. Yes, you're on TV, yeah. sir. Toronto, right. Canada. I have the right to practice my faith and exercise my freedom in Canada without being marginalized, criticized, and bullied by the Toronto police or anybody else. Now, what they're doing, you should be defending my rights as a free country, a Canadian citizen, to demonstrate what I believe. You should be defending me and be impartial as a police officer. And if you're going to practice the law, then please be impartial, Pr protect me as I exercise my freedom of speech. That is your duty. The moment you start to take away my right to become a, to, to exercise my freedom of speech, you are breaking the law and I will take you to court, Officer Dick. Okay, so I'm going to exercise my freedom. Please protect me. You don't want to protect me? are coming against my religion and my freedoms. That's what's happening, and what you should do as a police officer is uh, take what I just said. People have been assaulting me and, and becoming bigots and hate speech against my religion. And so if you're willing to look at the evidence, this is all on live stream right now. City TV News is right here. So I want to exercise my freedom. And well, I'm going to exercise my this freedom because I have that right. I don't even need a microphone. There's enough people oh, he here that are hearing he everything you see right now. So I'm going to I'm going to share the gospel, and I expect you to be impartial in your duties by protecting me and protecting everybody. It's an it's an option. Yeah, I chose this location. It's a part of Toronto. Does this have a special law in Church and Wellesley? No. No. But okay. you've chosen this. I don't want to continue this the conversation anymore, officer. I'm going to preach over here. And exercise As a gay person, as a lesbian, don't, don't care, don't want to hear it. We already know who we are. Hear it, but I'm are you going to arrest that we can have already? We don't need it from you. We don't need it. 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 We don
comes out, interrupts, or within five minutes of us even speaking, within five minutes of us even speaking, speaking, you can find that is against us. It's gotten absolutely crazy. We have really not even said anything except God loves you. And it's just really gotten insane. Yeah, it's really gotten insane. So God cares just stick, about you. Just stick with us, pray for us. They're saying, look, I thought I There is no condemnation to them that are Huh? Yes, I do. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. God is not a homophobe. For God's sake. We're not welcome here. That he gave his one and only son. God is not a That whoever believes in him. Into your country? Is this your country? Yeah. Canada is my country, just like it can be yours or anyone's who lives here. Ask the fucking anyone who ask the native people that live here how that. much of this is but their hey, country. That's a whole so, exactly. You want to talk about so Jesus? Jesus, so Jesus at no point Jesus. went into people's homes, which is our home, and did this. He showed so, action. You're not saying that he went into different villages and preached his message. Sorry? You're saying he didn't go into different villages and preach his message? It actually is. That's what no. That's what he did. But that because at the times, at the times the way they did preaching, it had to be done that way because there was no text messaging and so on. Now more than ever the world is changing and this is not how you preach the message of love from Jesus. This is not my Jesus. We never even preached it. Oh my God, then what is that? Isn't that an outreach that you're doing? You mobbed up. Because we I love you, man. We love you. Okay, but this is not love? showing love. You're holding hold a on, camera hold on, Kira, up to our face. I want to ask you. We want to protect camera, ourselves. With this camera, what are you actually here to do? What's your name? Want to know. What's your name? I'm no, no, no. No more questions. So you're not even I'm here to ask you. Call Jesus. The world that we live in. Call Jesus. The LGBT community Call wants everything on your terms. Lay down your camera. When you want it. How you want it. We're just fighting for our peace. You already have the same rights that Christians have. But no, let me tell you what? this. No, no, no. What? This is Are you serious right Christian, now? And you're going to tell him that Let me you tell you this. Hey, just so you know. Don't push me. Hey, you know, you know, the the people told them to kick me out of the house. Persecuted nothing. people in the world. You know so you're telling me. You know, you're telling me. You're telling me. That this is the way to do it? This is the way to show love? Love wins, love wins. Love wins, love wins. I was kicked out of the church. I was told Jesus will never love me because I'm gay. That's why. So don't even. We're queer. We're queer. We're queer. We're queer.
bias of society that we live in. This is the bias. Hey, brother. I need some. Hold on. I'm sorry to take that. Can you do me a favor? Right, do an interview. Me. Can you do an interview with that lady? With yes. the lady so yes. Yes. And defend your friend. Go ahead. Get this. Don't stand behind him. Don't, don't stand behind him. The message is that John 316 is a great We go to. We didn't target only the gay community today. We went to uh, a school. We went to a uh, another village. Uh, in a little neighborhood. We go to Young and Dundas. We, we go. There's global ministries to the UK, and so we just we share the gospel with every single person as Jesus told us. To. And our only motive is that people uh, know that God loves them. That they will come to know that Jesus is a God. Obviously, we're in the, the Pride Month, right? And so it's, uh, we want to reach the gay. We want to we want to also reach the gay community. But, but why stay when when they were asking you to go? Well, I mean, that's like saying like, why should you? Like, what if I told you to go right now? And I and then and then as a defense or as a question, everyone was surrounding you and intimidating and threatening. And I say, why stay if I wanted you to go? And I think your response should be, I have the right, I have just as much right to stay here as you do, right? And so I, I don't think that's really a fair question, right? I think that it, that it has, it has basically an agenda to say you shouldn't be here, right? And what are your thoughts on the response that you think they're trying? I think it's pure hatred. I think I see signs that say love is love. I say if you're that sign right there says if your religion teaches you to hate someone, it's time to find a new religion. And I said to the man very respectfully, I said, sir, I agree with your sign. With all due respect, you should examine your own ideology. Because as a Christian standing here, I do feel like they hate me. I don't feel like they hate me. I don't hate them. Um, there's a man I was speaking to. I think you interviewed him, and he's. I asked him. I said, "Am I welcome here as a Christian?" And he said, "Yes." With condition, he said, but I, I, I don't, well, I'm not, I don't tolerate you spewing your, your guard, like, I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but he basically said that I'm not welcome here to preach Christianity. But the officers came as well, right? And yes. the officers ended up, you know, detaining one of, one of your friends along with you. Yes, he did. Um, and I observed it all in the video. But again, why, why give that pushback? When the officer said turn off the mic and things like that, like why give that pushback? Well, nobody. First of all, nobody pushed anybody back. We this basically we basically stood for rights, and and we were staring in the face of religious discrimination, and we were just making a statement. Hey, we have equal rights to practice what we believe, as much as the gay community has equal rights. I, as a Christian, don't have any agenda, any motive to silence, to make homosexuals illegal, to say, hey, you're not welcome here. If you do, get out of here. I think that if if I did that to someone. They would have a right to say I'm full of hate because I'm basically saying I'm sorry. The them, church right? is okay to do that to but me as a gay guy. The church was allowed to kick me out as a gay guy. So you're telling me that if we do that to you, it's not okay. But it's okay for you to do that to LGBTQ people. A lot of people come here from countries that are constantly, constantly suppressed by religion, and you are here imposing it. This is not love. This is not how Jesus did it that? at all. Can I answer that? So you're going to respond by doing the same thing that, that's hypocrisy. If you really don't agree with that type of uh, behavior, why no. would you do that? No, what we did here is say, this is not, you don't come in our home and impose something, especially somewhere as inclusive no as imposed. the village, where we have Jews, we have Muslims, and Eid al fitr today, you don't even put that into consideration. What about Christians? And also, I'm Christian. I'm Coptic Orthodox Christian. But you left I Christians out of that. I, Sorry? But you left, I, I noticed you left Christians. Because you came here already showing
knowing that because actions speak louder than words. I agree. Not preaching. Sir, this I is not the first you. century. Sir, I agree. Actions speak louder than words. So and you we have to pick up. Actions. We have to pick up the pieces that you guys leave the LGBTQ people behind in, feeling unwelcome. This is our home. We created this space all together, so we don't have to deal with this. Let us be. Okay. This is not letting us be. Okay. You you are allowed to be, and everyone's allowed to. No. Right? You're you're. What you're is preaching is with condition. It's condition. I mean, yes. I think the I love of God that but you preach is condition. What's your point? What's my point? Yeah. Well, are any of you queer it's part of your church? It's not conditional love. This is no, but what you're preaching point? is like, conditional. Point. What's your point? What you're preaching is completely man. conditional. What's your one, point? One huge misunderstanding is that it's just about the LGBT community. We all fall short of the glory of God. People who oh. eat too much, who are, not, then why are you people who are here? gluttonous. Oh, I, just, why are you doing here? I just got here. That's I, absolute bullshit, and I'm calling you out on it like, right what's now. What's your point, man? Everyone what's here is point? calling you out on it. I just, we can see right through you. This is not how it's done. Okay. You just came to get some attention, man. That's all you want. So you yeah. got your attention. But what's your point? Now's your moment. What do you have to say? This is very self-righteous. Here's have your moment. Now, what do you have to say? This is very self-righteous. Cameras here. What do you, 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 you got to say, brother? What do you got to say? Are you hear me? Say it. God loves you. Thank we, you. Thank Amazing. you. We know that. I don't need it. Thank you. Thank you, though. I appreciate it, but I don't need it. You're entitled to what you believe. But this is not how to show it. This is what I'm trying to know about it. I don't believe it, but thank you. Good day. So, did you, did you show your testimony? No, I haven't yet. But so, there's nothing to talk me. about anymore. What is it that you're not getting? You no idea. <laughs> this is not how to me, do it. Do it by uh, action. Pastor David Lynn, that was arrested, is a, is a close personal friend of mine, and him and I actually organized this to come out of here today. Is it possible for me to uh, to voice? Uh, a perspective know, from Christianity that you would see. I don't think you're a real Christian. Yeah. I don't mind. I, don't I, I need your name and stuff. I don't know if I'm sure. My name is Philip Blair, and I'm actually an American from the United States. I'm from Louisiana. And um, we came out here today for the sole reason of showing the love of God and shining the light of Christ. That it is the will of God that none should perish, but that all might have eternal life through Christ Jesus. That God, He sent His Son to die for us. But okay. <laughs> God is faith. Yes. I think I'm going to join uh, you. Yes. We don't love. Uh, we don't. We don't hate anyone. We love every single person out here. Now, with the sequence of events that happened today, when we got here and we began to speak, we quite literally didn't even get any kind of message out before we were surrounded. All right. It was more of a mob mentality. People began to marginalize us as Christians, cover us with flags and signs, and didn't even. Listen right to what message we might even have to speak. Oh, I promise you, I we care about each person LGBT out here. If you're a true Christian and you truly care about the gospel message, you want to have a caring concern, a genuine love and concern for every person. But when we live as Christians, we base the decisions that we make, the roadmap of our life, based on what God's word says alone. This isn't our message, it's not what we believe in as our opinions. We only take the Holy Word of God, and we use that as a as a guidebook of principles where I to live. Well, I'm going to ask your, your friend as well. You know, there's clearly a lot of tension here, right? Um, like, why, why not say, why, why stay where you want to stay? I didn't get what I wanted. And, and, I got a flag like, that's LGBT. I guess we're all fuel to the fire at the end of the day. What did it appear to be happening? Sure, we're not trying to take anyone's rights away, okay? What we're trying to do is show the love of God. We believe, as Christians, that one day we're going to die, that this body will go back to the dust and our soul is eternal. So to us, it's worth Worth it to, in, uh, to endure persecution against us as Christians to share the gospel message because we know that each person out here is going to die one day, and if people die in their sins, they will go to hell without the shed blood of Christ. Well, yes, many times throughout history the truth was uncomfortable, but I believe that we as a free society are mature enough to take intellectual and complex ideas, even when it makes us uncomfortable and disgusting them freely because we do live in a free society where Christians have just as much right to speak as the gay community does. I believe that the gay community, because they feel a certain type of way towards Christians, or there are people who are coming in the name of Christ and speaking hatred. We don't speak for them, but the gay community has experienced that and now they have a lot of anger to 
towards us. And so they're trying to silence our voice without allowing us to show the love of God. You're the ones coming with amplified sound system. the second time that you guys are here. Sure. Um, after seeing this, I wasn't again, here last time. Are we going to be coming back? Well, I don't. I, I, I will not be coming back because I live in a different country. Uh, but the Bible says to go into all the world and preach the gospel. So we're going to continue shining our light. We believe that it's worth the persecution against us. We believe it's worth the arrest. All right. The truth is always going to be a very difficult, uh, complex subject. Uh, I believe that there is one truth, and that's God's holy word, and we're going to continue preaching that, even in the midst of difficulties. What are the names again of the two ministries that are here? Sure. Torch of Christ Ministries. I am the director of that particular organization. And we also have Christ Forgiveness Ministries that's based here in Toronto. How many, how many of you are here? Uh, we have a group of about 15 to 20 each day we've been out. And for how long have you been going out uh, This is, what, our third or fourth day here in Toronto. I have been hitting up different areas here. Absolutely. So we're not, we're not uh, trying to pick on any one area. We're just trying to cover the whole city and shine the light of Christ. All right, thank you. God bless you. Jesus all right, so great message. I do believe that they were uh, they were open to hearing what we had to say. Unfortunately, David's in handcuffs. I don't know where he's at right now. Hopefully, he's only being detained and not arrested. He didn't do anything illegal. But any time that there's a big disturbance like this, even though they're the ones who caused the disturbance, uh, you'll, you'll see that the police will have to to, uh, to react in some way. Unfortunately, I don't believe that justice has been served today. We've been in well within our rights to speak freely, our ideas and our Christian faith, and, uh, and we see that there's discrimination against Christianity. Absolutely. We have, we have completely been discriminated against because we're only sharing our biblical faith and you're not accepting us in this free society. You're not accepting us. I do have a place. It's called the church and I have a place. Right, so you're going you're gonna to confine me in my four walls of a building. What if I told you you had to keep your homosexuality in the four walls of a building? You would say that's completely unacceptable. Right? So, so wait. You would say that's completely unacceptable. What is that? What is that? We are in no way trying to physically or emotionally harm you. You're trying to harm us. You're assaulting us. You're causing Sir. Did I assault you? No, oh, in no way. You walked in here. Are you aware of what happened a few weeks ago here in the village? I'm glad we Neither, neither was I, but are you aware? Did you hear about it on news? Okay, okay. We. That if anyone in any way has caused you physical harm or assaulted you in any way, it's completely unacceptable. And I love you and I care about you as a person. In the okay. I do not believe in people like you coming here when we That's asked right. you. We begged you not to come into our space. Here's the thing, okay? We, when we okay. preach the gospel message, That's it makes you uncomfortable. Listen, it listen, convicts listen. you, I, and that's what look, bothers you. Like you spit on our pride parade. We asked you not to come here. You are hurting us. You are not doing the good. Look, look, look. You should be ashamed look, look, look. of yourself. That's the only thing I can say. Look, 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 look. You, yes, People please, spit please. on me who represent in the raised same in a Catholic church school. I'm a Hindu. Do. And they I don't appreciate what you're doing here. That's unacceptable. Okay, but Christians should never spit on anyone. That's I completely agree. unacceptable. I agree, but we are hurt because they say that I understand that. I understand that. Church and as you. I understand. There's a lot of really bad people out there who so, profess Christ. So, okay, and we don't so, speak for them. So you think it's right to do this here? We haven't done anything yeah, except speak. No, no, no. Man, so we haven't done anything. So, 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 wait. Message. Come on. Sure. Let's hear it. What is the, the you want to hear the message? I want to hear the, the message you're here Absolutely, for. Absolutely, man. Let's go for it. God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son to die for you on a cross. All right? He willingly laid down his life, not just for you, but for me and for all of the world. He laid down his life so that through the shedding of his blood, you might find eternal life with God. I believe, one second. What you believe. Hold on, yes. I believe, okay? Okay, that one day you're bought. Can I speak freely or am I? I, I That's want right. to. That's right. Uh, That's right. No, yeah, I believe there is a head in the house. That's right. You're not even giving me 15 seconds. Oh, yeah. You had a lot more than 15 Hindus seconds. believe in thousands of gods. You don't even know which god you believe in, man. Hey, yeah. hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, now you need to shut that shit down. God has many names. God has many names. Okay? So, you need to, like, shut that shit down. So you can't tell this gentleman here what god he believes in. He doesn't know what god he believes in. Shut that shit down. 
That is hate speech when you're telling him. No, no, no. I'm telling you, you said he doesn't know which he believes. He knows damn well what he believes. What God do you believe in? Can I ask one question? I'm a Hindu. I'm a Christian. Turn it around. Me too. I'm a human being. I'm a soul in a human body. That's all who I am. I am consciousness. I am consciousness. My, I, yes, I am. Yes, my, my, my. I believe in reincarnation. My religion believes in reincarnation. If you say I would not be reincarnated, that's hate speech to me. Okay, and if I we're know. long, we knew nothing. So I'm going to ask so you a question. Religion so do you believe him and I can God? lay with each other? Yes or no? I don't believe Then you, you need should. to get the hell out of our That's neighborhood. Right. Exactly. Just get out. But Just I get respect, out of our neighborhood. But I respect, I respect hey. your free right to do that. Yeah, and okay. I respect my free right for, to but tell you to get the hell out of my home. Right. is a hate speech for me you know because I'm a raised Hindu and you're saying Jesus is the only God. That makes me feel unsafe here. That makes me feel unsafe when you say Jesus is the only God. I was raised in a Catholic school. I, w I studied all Bible. I went to Catholic schools. I was, in, I was raised Buddhism. in Buddhism. I was raised in Hinduism. I have understood every single religion. I have understood Islam. All I have understood is live and let live. Let people choose whosoever no, they want to do. If I'm someone not, is doing I'm not some... Your message away. is not welcome here. You, I'm not you're, taking away you're anyone's right. You see this person? This person, is not this person believes in what they say. You know why? I'm not taking away anyone's why right. Because you're in the wrong right. neighborhood. We don't want to hear your message. We don't want to hear your message. Because this is hate speech for me because I don't want to hear this message. And this is a my safe community. So please, go somewhere else. Can I ask you a question? Go for it. Don't answer. Listen to me. I live according to the Bible. Yes. Do I have a right as a Christian to exercise my free right to be a Christian and to exercise my religion in Canada? Depends yeah, how you do it. Depends okay. how you do it. Okay. Okay. So, okay. so you don't believe here. We you believe that I don't have a right to go freely through your neighborhood. I believe you don't have a right to come into our neighborhood and preach your hate. This is inside okay? hate. Because if you're telling me that I can't be, if you're telling me that your God is only the only God, be. then you need to get out. Okay, do you believe in God, sir? Yes, I do. And okay. the churches that you but grew up in, the churches that I grew up in made me feel like I was less than? That's right. No. I've had enough of your shit. Because you're fake Christians. You guys are bullshit. All, you, all your churches need to lose all your churches need to lose your charitable organizations. You she loves me. She's never told me anything else. I promise you that I love you way more than you love me now. Please, hold your love for yourself. We love you too, but we are telling you. If you had a need in your life, if you had something that you needed help with, I would be there for you. Would you give me that same respect? If you knew I was a Christian. You are not respecting us. I give you that same respect as a human. It has nothing to do with me. It has maybe, nothing maybe to do I with your religion. I, I don't care what religion you are. I will help you because you are a human. Right. Exactly. And I will help so, you because you're so how about you help us and stop the distress and just leave? <laughs> because we don't want you here. You're causing distress. We is don't that want not you a here. mental hurt is on this people? okay for you to come into our neighborhood? Okay for you? The last no, time you guys came here it took us a while. The cops weren't here. Now we were all here I within 15 minutes. Okay? So, so listen, how many it's people are here? How many cops are here this time around? So you believe because in a non-consensual relationship, right? A non-consensual. He doesn't want you with him and you still want. You see, you guys Stay here. Listen, you can, no, I agree with you. No, 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 no. We live in this neighborhood. This is our neighborhood. We got here within five minutes. So you know how long you live here? Had to fight to get to this place. Has nothing to do with your religion. I don't care what your religion is. But you're saying it's a non-consensual relationship, so I should be forced out as a Christian. You're discriminating against me. That's not what I'm saying. You're discriminating against me because you're spreading that. He's not saying that. Because you're spreading that. That's what your idea is. You're twisting it into that. You have to twist it up. You have to twist it up. Because twist it up. What happens? Here's what happens. In the United States, you mix, you, can I speak? You pick something up. Okay, in that's a right. In the United and States, then you say, this listen, is what you said, and this listen, is how it goes. Are you guys no not going to break this shit up? I, I don't want to have to speak over anyone. He literally said what he said. <laughs> so listen, 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 listen. I will join your church, and I want to be a nudist in your church. Is that acceptable or no? Well, then what the fuck are you doing here under those same, same, same conditions? Then, if can I get married in your church? If you want that, can I get? That's right. This gentleman yeah, in your exactly. If you want that, I want to be a nudist. It's under church. Canadian law, we're allowed to get married. Exactly. So unless, no, so you guys are then discriminating the against the law. No, you're no. discriminating. You guys should you lose your church. I'm telling people that when you guys are paying taxes under your religion, and then you guys will start feeling it. You guys need financial stress. Why do you think the church is going down? Why do you think the church is going down? I'm not speaking for the church. I'm speaking for Christ Jesus. Yeah, and so am I. I'm not speaking for a 
church. Yes, like, yes but the church is a body of believers. The church actually means an assembly. I'm an evangelist. I'm not a pastor. Where do you live? I travel around the world. Where's your house? I live in Louisiana. And what are you doing up here? What? What are you doing up here? I'm meeting with my friend, and we're sharing the love of God with people in Toronto. This is not sharing. This is not sharing love. Because you are all upset. Why are you here? This is not healthy. But we didn't tell you. You're yeah, yeah. You didn't tell us. You know why we were here? Because you're bullshit when you guys came the last time. We immobilized. I wasn't here last time. I'm telling you what happened, brother. Right. I'm telling you what happened. You can't speak as a Christian. I'm telling you, this shit happened before. These cops were here before. It took them over an hour to get here, and now they're here. How many are here now? Do nothing. Just watch. They're, they're protecting everyone here, man. They're doing their job right now, and they're pro you want them to arrest. Us because, you because you hate us because you are not welcome. You are not welcome. You hate us because you are not welcome. Right? Because you, because you're a bigot. You're hateful against me as a Christian. You are not. You are hateful. I don't hate you. I love you. I love you. Okay. So I'm gonna. And this is the truth. You want to talk about the truth? If they weren't here, you would be assaulting me. That's the truth. They're protecting everything. We were getting assaulted by them. Don't let me into other. And the truth is this. I was assaulted earlier. I respect your right to be able to know. I was pushed out of the seat. Some of us pushed out of the seat. Somebody pushed me. They called me. I'm Philip, Philip, and I care about you. I would like to give you a hug. I don't want to talk about you. Okay, but I love you. I don't want the love that you have. Okay, that's your right. But that shows a lot, all right? Who's here in love and who's here in hate? Listen, I'm not pushing you away. You're pushing me away. Because he has the right to be here. Okay, so until you guys fix that, why don't you then come back here? I was born to a broken house. I was born to a broken house. He came down to the cross and he did not live a Christian life. Alright, who is a hypocrite? I was an Israelite. Okay. I saw people do crazy stuff in the church as a child. And I was like, man, I don't want to be a pastor when I grow up. I really don't want to have anything to do with this. I saw a different side. He would go to church, he would do one thing, he would come home, I'd see him do another thing. I love my dad, I want to honor my dad, but I didn't see a good example. But he did teach us about Jesus. I fell into darkness later on in my life, okay? I became by serious. I've been in this way, okay? I'm going to be honest, I'm going to say in my flesh, I am trying to get here. All right? But I knew that there was something inside of me that didn't sit right. And I'm just telling you from my perspective. Okay, I'm not talking about her when I'm talking about God is love. God is love is the most important thing. What is in the, 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 in Look, I don't know. Obviously, the police don't want to hear us. He literally said, I don't have a voice. That's not right. So I think the police need to be called on the police. So maybe that's what I need to do. All right, a lot of people push me away. Okay, everybody that I try to care about and to be closer push me away. And I have this rejection that ate me up. And you know how rejection is. When you feel like, and I feel that rejection because people in the church, they've rejected you, right? Well, people reject me because I wasn't a good person because I was angry and I treated people poorly because I was angry but deep down I was hurting so people they didn't want to have anything to do with me because I was so angry like, I'm almost done I was angry right and because because I had the rejection in me I pushed people away and I, I caused a lot of harm when I turned to God he began to show me that I didn't he didn't create me with all that anxiety I'm coming to your and church and despair, the right and he began to heal the wounds of my soul. And he began to teach me that in order for us to love in a healthy way, we have to be able to receive love in a healthy way. All right? You know, we change things to create our own form of love, but there is a pure form of love. All right? And love teaches, uh, you know, boundaries. And, and, and there's certain things that are healthy, and there's certain things that aren't healthy. Okay, so and that's what I believe in. Okay, and so I love it. I really do. Please, is a waste of 911. Okay. Okay, that's not what it's designed for. It's designed for emergencies. If you have a complaint against police officers, there's a process 
place in place for that. I know that. Okay. And I'm basically inquiring how do I do that. You can go to any police station or uh, you can go on the website for the uh, OIPRD. Nope, you can look it up OIPRD. Okay. And there's a whole there's a whole bunch of steps that I can give you. Okay. For Am I allowed to take uh, names down? You can go ahead and you can take all the names down you want. Okay. And so you're not willing to give me the phone number? I don't know the phone number. Okay. Okay. But I'll tell you right now, calling 911. To call on the police? Yeah. Is a, it, that's not what it's designed for? Okay. I understand. That's why I, understand I did, that's why I didn't want to do that. That's okay. why I said I don't that want to find yeah. That was good thinking. Yeah. I just want an investigation done on this situation. Yeah, you can lodge a complaint later on, okay? okay. So, okay. like I said, you can go to that website, you can go to any police station and get the paperwork to lodge a complaint, okay. right? As a Christian, just so you know, I respect your authority. I have nothing against you. I just I'm questioning the situation. That's okay. Okay. You, can't, you can't deflect to the Bible, okay? You're here, if you're here preaching God's message, preach God's message, okay? So you can't interpret it one way, interpret it another way. I'm telling you my story that the church made me feel like shit. The church made me feel lesser than. The church made me want to kill myself. This is not right. This is not church. It's not right for them okay? to make you want to kill yourself. Okay? It's not right. I agree. This is not right. right. When a people come in and people say, here, sign this. And the only way I know how to react is to sign it so my parents don't know I'm fucking gay? Bullshit! That's the reality. Okay? That's reality. Okay? That's reality. So me and my husband, who have been together for 13 years, have a more impactful relationship than I've ever had before. Okay? That love I have between him is not wrong. That love I lay with him is not wrong. God recognizes him. I know this now. God is good. I know this now. The message that you guys are preaching is hurtful to people. It continues to be hurtful to people. It's not right. I'm gonna ask you, by you guys being here, it gives me anxiety. It brings me stress and it makes me sad. It's not nice. It doesn't make me feel good. It brings back memories that I don't want to remember. Because those memories are not nice. So I can heal the, 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 the hurt inside of me too. Listen, I go to church every Sunday. I go to an exclusive church every Sunday. It's not just about church. Listen, do you have a relationship with God? I do have a relationship with God. That's where it's important. That's right. So if I have a relationship with God, the message has been fulfilled. So you're welcome to leave. You're welcome to leave. The message is fulfilled. I'm also welcome to stay. You are welcome to stay. But please don't come in here and tell me in my home, in my neighborhood, that I can't lay with another man. That a woman can't lay with another woman. Please, I've had enough of it. Okay? I've had enough. I just want you to know, alright, we as Christians, we're not picking or we're not picking on the, the LGBT community. You are, okay? But by being just, here in our neighborhood, talking, but you are. Right, but we're going to a talk. lot of different neighborhoods, brother. This is what you're doing, and then uh, what, what you're doing right now, you're talking about what you're doing, but what you're doing is different than what you're talking about. As a, you said you go to church, right? You have a relationship with God. Do you read your Bible? I do. Okay. This is bad. Do you feel like it gives you life and peace and joy? You know what gives me life and peace and joy? That's his it's people that accept me for right, who I am. Right. People will allow but me God's to be who I am. Peace and you know what? Too, so that's your peace. You know so how about you let us have our peace? Okay? We fought long and hard. We fought long and hard against this shit. Okay? Initially, this happened because of the police. Because they raided our bathhouses. Because they came to store people. We exist. Okay? Provoking on purpose. Please, over just don't come in here. You Listen. You know what gives me really But you're telling me I can't Should wait I with another man. Should I do it here in front of you? So we're, we're, no, we're the here. Question. We're here. Such a simple question. I was trying to listen to listen, him. I know, but you guys have been talking for a while, so I just have a simple question. If I, if, what gives me relief is taking a shit. I'm pretty sure it does for you. I'll speak for myself. I'm not going to be so arrogant for you. Should I take a shit right here because it gives me relief? Or is there responsibility with my relief? That's right. So I have to go to the toilet to take a dump. But it is. Do you understand? So do you think that what you're doing, it, like, you could just do it anywhere, anytime? I'll give you another example. Well, if I'm loud, right if I'm loud, if I'm loud, if I'm a loud person, I'll admit it. And so I go to the library and start screaming, thinking that I have the right to be loud? No. Because We're not it's out here just library. trying to be rude, man. No, no, but do you understand what I'm trying to say to you? There's a time and a place. Right, but when is there a time and a place for Christians? You didn't like the answer. You didn't like the answer. Exercise the religion. Okay. When is, the, when is it a, a, a good time and a good place for a Christian Look, to I can exercise, exercise having long hair. 
But I must need to go. I must do I need to go to the bathroom to exercise for sanity? But I'm going to answer your question if you want the answer. You said where I I have the I have the right to long hair. If I'm going to cook a meal, do I have the right to dip it in the fucking stew? Like this to say I have the right to my long hair? No, I don't. If you want to dip your hair in stew, you I can don't have the right. What does that have to do? That, what, I don't understand. I'm trying to tell you that every right, speech, my hair being long, pants that I want to wear, it differs. It comes with a responsibility based on the context. I as Christians have a responsibility to tell you the truth. Because you're that's your opinion. That's not a responsibility. Right. But just because. But but our responsibility to tell the truth. Okay. All right. So. Okay. Let me ask you this. If college students are brought into a university, if college students are brought into a university, and the, the administration comes before the university and and, uh, and goes over a certain set of principles, if the college students aren't interested in hearing the, the those policies, does it still uh, does it take away their their responsibility to tell? In my opinion, in my opinion, yeah, because we're in the school for education and science. We're not in the church, right? So let's come over here if you don't mind. I'm not going to touch no one. Sure. This is a police officer, yes? Sure. He's paid how? Again, through tax, yes? Yes, yes. yes so that means, I could I argue that I'm a shareholder of his uh, payment, yes? Aren't we shareholders? I mean, we pay taxes. Yes. If I go you here can look ginger, at it like that. Yes. You can look at it that we way, right? We all pay our taxes. The taxes pay okay, for okay. them to be Okay, okay. So employed. now, in one way, you could argue he's the boss of me in order to reinforce the law. That's right. what he's paid for. He's also to protect you. And we you. are the bosses of them in the sense that, that we pay them and they serve and protect us. Sure. Does that mean I can touch his penis? No. Ah. That's assault. But I have the right to touch someone's penis, don't I? Under what condition? Consent. consent. Right, absolutely. That's right. right. So freedoms come with different responsibilities. Right. right. So let me give you an example That's in response to that. That's what I'm trying to, to tell you. Do you think it's acceptable for you to do this here yes. at this point? So I, I should take okay, off my pants and take a dump here. Yeah, can, no. No, you can't. oh no. Can oh, but I speak, you can do whatever you want. Can I speak? I should join your church with a bikini so I can do whatever I want too. Can I speak? Speak. Okay. Please. We came out here and stood on the sidewalk. Uh -huh. We didn't even get to speak our ideas or the message that we came with because no, but your relationship with us was without yes. consent. Your interaction oh. and your response to us was without no. consent. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No. It was a non-consensual relationship. I'll, no, 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 because no. You I'll came answer you. And you mobbed up against I'll us. I'll answer you. You surrounded us. I'll answer you. began you. to assault us. Do you want the answer? We only see Christians being arrested today. I, we don't I heard see anyone point. else. I, I heard this we point. were assaulted. I acknowledge this point. We're what the he's victims. Saying, but I don't agree. And yet we're the ones in handcuffs. Okay. Okay. This shows you there is a bias in the law. Well, that's the truth. Could I answer? They're protecting you, you in a biased answer. way. Let me let me finish what okay, I'm saying. Please. Okay, but we still we have the cameras here to protect us. You say, why are you using a camera? I never said to that. Protect I never us. asked that. Because the I truth is, the if camera. we didn't have cameras, but I never asked had, about the camera. The police would arrest us because the mob would all say the now. same thing, You're lying. I never asked and about we would the not be heard. I never asked. You about know what the happened camera. earlier? Someone threw coffee on me. And is the that police me? did nothing. Is that me? No. Yes or no? no? Thank you. And it so, wasn't even in this community. Okay. wasn't even in can this I community. Answer, can I answer your but question? But Christians are being marginalized. You know I'm going to remember what you asked. Our rights are being removed. You keep talking over the question that you asked. Because you don't ever stop to let me speak, man. Yeah. I stopped. I heard your point. But do you go just want to go on and on and on? You said that your right is being violated because you came here and spoke, yes? Yes, yeah, so and you entered into a non-consensual relationship with we me entered by not allowing me to exercise my free uh, right I, dis I understood. I heard you the first time. And now I'm going to tell you what what I think. Sure. You came here, you spoke. We didn't get to speak. We never got to speak. But I think you spoke. We had people following us around this is not and assaulting us what as you're we doing, were trying you're not to speak. speaking now. This I'm is, speaking now. Are you mute? Yes. Uh, what is this? This is not we speaking. We weren't allowed to speak on the speaker. Okay, okay. Whatever. I think you spoke. Your cameras will show that you have spoken. In my conclusion, you've spoken based on this factual evidence. You've made the claim saying that the people that have come here have surrounded you. Well, not now, but yeah, were you here earlier? I heard you. I'm just okay. repeating. They came around you and they pretty much did the same thing. They came to a public space like you did and you didn't like that they came to the space. I see a difference between them and you. Do you know what I see or no? Yes, they're socially, the it's socially acceptable for them to be here, but it's not socially acceptable for us as Christians to be here. That's what you're saying. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes. No, I'm not. You're saying that it's a non consensual I'll tell you what I'm saying. Because I wanna, I'm here as a Christian. I'll, I don't have do the social acceptability I, to I, be I, here. I, you're I asked, intolerant of I asked, Christians. I asked, I asked 
That's the truth. He's going on about You're intolerant else. of Christians. That's not true. You're assuming again. I never said that. That's Did what I, you've said with your own voice. No, I didn't. I called you a fake Christian. That's different than saying I'm intolerant right, of Christians. Right, right. What if I called you a I, fake homosexual? Would that well, be hate I'm speech? I'm not even one. I'm would trans, that be hate so I'm fine. I, well, it would be. Right, but that's but a I'm, separate story. But you're, but you're allowed to call me a fake Christian. How are the, How do we not have equal rights? Because I'm trying to answer you, but I don't know if you're done with your point. Because I heard your point. I've acknowledged right. that that's your opinion. I would like to tell you. Do my you admit answer. that there is a bias would that you, protects you that doesn't protect me? Can we answer me? one point sure. at a time? So sure. how about the first one, so sure. that we don't just ask questions for the camera? Yeah, absolutely. Is that all right? Right. I want okay, the police so to hear too, though. I have no problem with yeah. the police. I don't have a problem with. Them. Three million gods of the Hindus, including Jesus and Allah, hearing it. Okay. I'm very confident with my conviction, what I'm about to say. Okay. You, I repeat, you came here, you said you stood. You wanted to speak, yes? And you said you didn't see the difference, you saw the difference being that I am intolerant of Christians. I say I disagree, I never put that on the camera once. I called you a fake Christian, I separate you from Christians. The difference that I see, I will tell you now, is you came here in an inappropriate place to take this freedom and do your freedom. Nobody's saying you can't do your freedom, they're saying this is the wrong way to do your freedom. Just like it's the wrong so, way for me to grab his cross why because is it, we are not okay. in a relationship. How is it that you get to choose what's appropriate and what's not appropriate when it comes to I never chose Christians it. freely expressing their religion? Uh, okay, we have a democratic procedure. But you're choosing what's acceptable for me, for my religion. How the hell did I choose that? Because you just said me coming here and practicing my Christianity is unacceptable. So I'm the dictator of Canada. Uh, you just I, said yes. No, I never really said that I made that law. I never made that law. In I'm saying that Toronto, is Can the law. Uh, Ontario. I never said that I made that law. You would like to twist it no, to I'm make it seem that because I'm you don't have a that point. You're speaking. Yes. I'm, you're I'm speaking those ideas. That's right. Right. And I, I will back up those ideas, but I never made those ideas. Do you believe that Christians have free right to exercise their Christianity in this in this community right here? Fifty percent. They have the right, but they don't have it right here. So they the have the right to practice under your conditions. <laughs> So you're saying that I made these conditions? That's what you said, 50%. I never said that. I, you asked me for my opinion, and then you're changing it into the, what's the law. What are you asking? Don't, don't diddle-daddle when it's comfortable for you. Let's be real. What should be the law in Toronto? I agree with the law. Not because they're standing here if I didn't. In this condition, I do agree with it. Because people like you and my... Now I'm going into my opinion. My opinion is you're a fake Christian. Nonetheless, you still have the right to your opinion. But you don't have the right to come and do this. Because I'm a Christian. So I, I need to take a shit. Conditions change things, yes? If I really need to go and I crouched somewhere and I took it, the condition changed because it's an emergency situation, it's a Cestas one. There will be compassion potentially with a proper officer, in my opinion, shown to me. Because let's say all that, and under that circumstance, all the toilets were off. If I came out, and, and we're going to change the situation, if I came out and I said, I refuse to use the toilet, this is the place that I'm going to do it, that is a completely different scenario than the first one. Would you agree or not? You lost me like three I know because ago. it doesn't involve your. You're talking agenda. about toilets and stuff. That's man. right. I'm I'm using it as an analogy to what so, you're doing. So you anal So you're an. You're using an analogy that me practicing my Christian faith the way is the same as pooping in a toilet. The way That's you're what doing, you're saying. Yeah, yeah, I know you would like to turn it into a bad thing. But it's not like a freedom. Everybody, it's a freedom. I have a freedom to go to the washroom. Please. Okay, because I let you spoke for quite a bit. Sure. Uh, okay, I, I, I agree too. with the law as well. That we're all allowed to freely express ideas. Uh -huh. We're all allowed to exist. All right. We're all allowed to do those things. We as Christians. We as Christians are not trying to take away any of that. What we're trying to do is freely express Actions our ideas louder than words. anywhere that we want to express Look, them. is this normal? Right, no, like, is this, this right? This is our right. They have come against us. Are this you is kidding? the truth. No. Okay, let, me the truth. let me speak. Let me speak. The, the truth. truth is, within five minutes of us speaking, a mob formed against us. We were assaulted. We were assaulted, and yet we were the ones that got arrested. You were praying right? here. We were assaulted. Is this a church? Anybody. Yes. Anybody is Go to the grass and pray. You're going to be disingenuous with me and tell me that this was prayer? 
this was and you rolling out a carpet and praying. You weren't there. This was you were there. We were in a circle. We were in a circle. We were praying. And we were being verbally assaulted before we even started. I'm not assaulted. Are we only protecting the LGBT community or are we protecting the I understand. That's right. So I appreciate you. I understand. Wanted to say your thing. No, no. They want to say their thing too. What I'd okay. like right now is for everybody to just start moving on. Okay. Okay? Bye bye. Hey, God bless you. Well, it was a nice talk to you nonetheless. I was telling David about a month ago that I've been trying to find a lot of people that believe the same like me, and I found you. Go this way! 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 No, I, yes, you, you can call me. You can call me. You can call me. You're invited. You can ask my question. But I'm not allowed to preach or say my opinion. Let I speak in your church. Let I speak in your church. Before you come here, let I speak in front of your church. Let us come to the front of your church. If you don't like your church, and I did not respond to violence. And as soon as I preach, I got attacked because I'm preaching. I listened to him. You guys, this is a hypocrisy. This is not the way to go. I allowed him to speak. And as soon as I speak, you guys come against me. That is horrible. See, the responses I get, this is the response I get for breaching my belief. This is the response I get for breaching. The guy just breathed and nobody attacked him. We all stood here and watched him speak his opinion and we did not attack him. But as soon as I lift my voice, I get attacked. As soon as I lift my voice, I get attacked. Here's another example. I preach and I get attacked. I preach and I get attacked. I preach and I get attacked. Get out of here. I get pushed out. This is not free This is not freedom. This is not freedom. This is hate. This is hate. Hey, I'm being uh, pushed street. away because I'm I spoke. To be All of you are witnesses. Everybody here has a conscience. Even though you, you, you pretend this is not true, you're like, this you is have what the hate is. Complete example. You guys got a view of what happened. I stood there. I watched a man speak to me. I spoke to him as a grown adult. And I listened to him in a loving manner. And as soon as I raised my voice, I got attacked. This is not even about religion, but this is about hate. So and I you tell me that I speak hate. You got a full so view right now of what listen. happened. Use no, the guy just told listen. me that I couldn't the even speak. The definition of stupidity is doing the same mistake <laughs> over and over. Why don't you learn? You come here to be a victim. You get surprised. We say, please don't be here. So you can put the bigot term on other people. Why don't you just listen, leave, get a different strategy for communication and come back? Instead, you're just going through this cycle. And why? Because you're a victim, right? That's right. You're, you're the poor Christian. Can I speak? Yeah. Okay. Here's a question for you. Let me have your phone. Oh, hi. Am I, am are, I, you, are you imminently about to be attacked? So you have to be safe. No, no, no. My Please, maybe you can do a better job of okay. putting your footage can, together. Can you, can you listen What's to your me? job? I'm having a grown conversation with you. Can you listen to me? <laughs> okay. can, I, can I have a conversation with you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe that's what you okay. should be doing instead of screaming at people. I want to have a conversation with I am with listening. I just didn't have a chance to have a conversation with him because he wouldn't allow me. Okay? I want to have a conversation with you right now, okay? He doesn't have to. Okay. You don't have to talk. Okay, so here's my issue. Okay, my, so, issue, no, my first question is why do these people have to be videotaping? Sir, I don't want to no, talk to you. For my safety, for my safety. You're safe. The cops people. are right behind I saw, No, I saw, because I saw people. They weren't other here people. then, bud. Can I have it for my safety? I'll have a conversation with you when you don't have people fucking I don't 360 have degrees have around me. I have your friends have cameras. Put your fucking phones down and okay. we'll talk. I'll put, I'll put my phone down. Oh. I'll put my phone Yeah, you're here. No, no, no. Listen, that's not my phone. Oh, this is my phone. I put it down. I turned it off and I put it in my pocket. All right, come out of here. Out, out of respect. Okay. Yeah, that's that's why do you need to be here? Because we're going to have to get out of here. 
I'm loving each other. Yes. Get out of here. You guys can't you're not doing it. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Is that what you believe? He said, in order for one to see and to enter the kingdom of God, one must be born again. You need to be born again by his Holy Spirit. You need to. I need it. We all need it. We are all sinners. what I believe. If you see someone suffering, and if you see that person suffering, it's your job as a human being to help that person. And if you also at the same time, and that means at the same time someone comes out and they say they're gay, but bisexual or transgender, and you love that person, and their parent, that parent should not toss that child aside. No, but the religion, and the parents' religiousness that you preach, no, 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 turn around to all these people no, 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 and say all of us no, are evil. That's why we have a pride no, no, mouth, no, no, my no. brother. Okay? You know what because you know said? what? You know, you know what? Said? We already have Jesus to straighten up. Jesus you can said, say well, no, Jesus, you said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus would look at you and say, what you doing? Jesus said we're all evil. 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 He said unless we will, he says unless we repent, all of us, we will all likewise perish. This is what Jesus said. And we need, and this is what I'm saying. You say you're born that way. You have to look at the world and you have to do something. Instead of saying, I am sinful, I'm sinful. You know what? I'm sinful. So what? Do you know what? This woman, if this sister needs help, I help her. If this sister needs help, I help her. If this transgender person wants help, I help her. And if that's what, no, you're not. What you're doing is coming here to provoke her reaction. Let's look at the monkeys. No, you're not. That's what, what do you think we're all doing? And look at all these nice policemen. They'd rather be out chilling. Mind the business well, and doing real crime than coming, than coming out and you know dealing with this. Okay, so do me a favor. We know what you're doing because you guys showed up a few weeks ago and you pulled this kind of stuff. Oh yeah, we know what you're doing and you want us to sit here and oh we're gonna be quiet and be like oh no we're gonna tell you whose streets or streets were born here. If you're transgender, if you're bisexual, if you're gay, straight, or whatever you are, we love you. And Christian, you're damn right, Christian. Muslim, what about Muslim? What about Jewish people? Because you seem to forget that. Oh, you love them. Really, really, really. How many of you guys are also voting for racist people out there and who got past xenophobia? And you turn around, oh, no, wake up. What do you think all these xenophobic laws are being passed out? It's, no, honey, it's called brain. And I got a degree. And it's called political. No, it's called political science. And it's called the oldest trick in the book. It's called divide and conquer. Because what you do is this: you divide people and you conquer people. Why don't you do me a favor? If you want to go pray, go pray at Queens Park. There are poor people out right now that are losing their rights in this province. Why don't you go do that? Why don't you go we do were. that? We were there yesterday right. feeding the poor. Where, but more than that, you got to go out there and you got to protest. Are you ready to go into the shit? I don't think so. What is the battle? And we're disengaging. Perfect. Yeah, just yeah. Let's all move along. Yeah, that's a nice flag. Okay, guys, I'm leaving. It was a lovely conversation. All right, folks, let's clear the sidewalk, please. Blaze, can you do me a favor? Just move aside. You've been here, you've taken over and disrupted. Let's move the sidewalk along, please. No, no, please, please, enough. There's a whole city we have to manage, okay? Please. Our streets! Our streets! Go Revolution! I think it's everybody's streets. It's everybody's What a bias. Right. You cannot inherit the kingdom of God. So if you, you can see that doing the physical action is not what really matters. Christian rights are disappearing on our city streets. It's what's in the heart. Right. It's what's, it's what's in the heart. Do you hear me, brother? Yeah. Yeah. Christian rights are being marginalized and taken away. And before you know it, it starts with Christianity, but before you know it, all of us who believe in a certain religion, we're gonna our religious beliefs and our freedoms to exercise that belief are gonna be taken away. We did it for we didn't form a mob today. A mob was formed against us. Assault was demonstrated against us. We didn't see anybody that assaulted us get arrested. I'm speaking on behalf of Christianity in Canada. Okay, I'm speaking on behalf, I'm speaking on behalf of religious freedom in the world. All right, we were assaulted. No one who assaulted us was arrested. But the person that was speaking and freely exercising their Christian beliefs was handcuffed and we don't even know where he's at right now.
Okay? We are not being protected as Christians in Toronto. This is clear. All right? You're trying to shut us down and make us leave. Officer, a mob was formed against us. We're the ones that need protecting. We have just as much right to freely exercise our religion as the LGBT community has to exercise their lifestyle. We are not trying to marginalize the LGBT lifestyle. We're trying to say that God loves you and he can give you life in Jesus Christ. That's it, we're gonna leave. God bless you. Thank you officers, okay, for being unbiased and for protecting the people of Canada. Okay, they want us to leave. Okay, God bless you. Hey, 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 goodbye. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey, 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 goodbye. Na 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 na. Na na na. Hey, hey, goodbye. No to hate. No to hate. Everywhere we go, all right? God bless you. We'll talk soon. It's not God's love. It is God's love. No. Who are you to tell me what God's love is? Who are you to say what God's love is? Because I've read the Bible and I'm telling oh you what the God. Bible Take says. Take the Bible, shove it up your ass. Right, you're so you're hating you're against my religion. You're contradicting half you're of the Bible, against my what you're saying. It's contradicting what's, what's, half of it. Do you realize that? that? Like you're literally going against the Bible by doing all of this shit right now. Do not judge is what he says. And what you're doing is fucking judging. You have no right to sit here and tell us who to be and how to live. No, I, my relationship with God is between me and him. Okay, and it's not your... Bible says, take verses out of I have read you don't every have any I went to a Catholic high school for my okay, entire life. Catholic. I have we had have the Bible to, used against me my entire bye life. Bye. God bless you. We you have, have no you. right to God tell me you. who to be and what to be because some book tells you what to be. Get the fuck out of my face. Like, what is wrong with you? Right, let's go, guys. Everybody that's with Can Church I of Christ or Christ Forgiveness Ministries, we have to leave. Which one of you? Yeah, sure. I, uh, I would probably be the... Is it? Kezia? Is it? Who will be more comfortable? Sorry? Kezia. Would you prefer to speak or would you... Sure, no worries. Well, we can both speak here. Yeah. But no, you guys over here. There's one person. Well, the police want us to leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I thought you said protesting. <laughs> no. <laughs> protesting. What do you get out of it? <laughs> But we have to stay here to make sure that they're okay. Yeah. We have to make sure that these yeah, the young ladies are okay. Go and go. Like, no one's telling you to stay. Leave. If you want to leave. Some in our group are still over there okay, with the news out. We have to make sure they're okay. We're not going to preach anymore. It's okay. We're just going to stand by and make sure we're not allowed to preach. No, this is what he said. He said he's got, he said he's got to be. Uh, excuse, me, excuse, me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, you're talking. He said, well, don't, don't interrupt me. He said, he, said that, he said that they went to the attorney general because of the last time that I came down here and they got a, they, they filed a petition that if we preach that's anywhere. A, that's a Dutty Storm guy. Dutty Storm. They got a petition. They filed a petition with the attorney general saying if we preach anywhere, if I go to a mosque, if we preach at Pride, we're going to be arrested. Well, hey, let's get arrested then because the gospel needs to be preached, right? Let's go. Let's go.